selector and uh, the first question I have you guys have a new album coming out uh, you have a single uh, that is now uh, out and about how is everybody reacting to the new music it's been great I mean you know we've been out here since uh, the beginning of August so we've been doing when we do our own shows we do four new tracks from the album uh, we do Frontline we do Remember Me uh, Gaps's um, song and um, Daylight the title of the album and another song uh, Gaps' song is the big bubble because he is the big bubble <laughs> <laughs> it's a great testing ground to come out here and uh, just play new, new material and, and, and see what people think the video for Frontline, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, Emily and I were talking about the other day. How'd you guys come up with your concepts lately? Well, we had um, some great guys working with, and it's just simple things that they put into um, action, and they, they, they sort of work with it, and then and, and the result is what you, you, you see on the, um, the video, yeah. yeah. We were just the delivery guys. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline, you refer to a lot of the bands that used to play with us like heritage bands now um, because a lot heritage of... Heritage <laughs> meritage. <laughs> you know, I mean, if people want to have sort of, you know, that uni comfy slipper thing and sort of sit on a sofa and uh, play ska music, then that's entirely up to them. Me, personally, it's a fucking fight out there. Do you know what I mean? We're black people in this world. Do you know what I mean? And um, we don't see things necessarily getting any better. Even for women, we don't see things necessarily worldwide, I'm talking about getting any better. And I mean, if that makes us at the front line of things, be at the front line of things. Don't just say, oh, I wrote about it 38 years ago. You may have wrote, written fantastic songs 38 years ago. We did too. But you know, you just don't go out and just do that. You look at what's happening now, you know, and someone's got to sort of be out there and saying things. When an entire nation thinks that that orange person <laughs> Do you think that events in like Charlottesville will change anything? You've got fascists on one side, you've got people who are firmly against that and have a whole worldwide following against that. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe white men are just feeling a little bit uptight at the moment and things like that. But I mean, it, 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 I fear, I fear, I grew up during the time of looking at this country and seeing people fighting for civil rights, that's both women and men as well. And I've seen those burning um, um, crosses and things like that, you know? And I remember the very first time we came here in 1979, if Gaps and I, with our other people in the band, white folks as well, walked into a truck stop, you could make that place in the South stop dead stopped it they would not talk they would not serve you and 15 minutes later if you walked out talk would start again now if you're going back to a time like that then that is worrying if you're mexican it's worrying you know that man is bad news do you think that bands like the selector or maybe even you two uh you guys have that uh, positive energy to change things not just change thoughts but you know change the world in general music brings people together yeah music and it's, it always has been i came to england first but on the television there was hardly any black faces but um the first group i, I would have seen with black and white people would be um, a group called the equals with eddie grant oh i love the yeah. equals yeah. yes for us it's a struggle to 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 stand up for what we want because um um, you will get slapped down immediately because your word don't count, you know, yeah. you know, and um, it's been a struggle and um, we will we, be more than pleased and happy if people take notice of what we are trying to say. Uh, the new album, uh, you've had uh, some folks uh, contributing to uh, putting it out. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Jules Holland, um, who uh, Gaps and I sort of accompanied out on tour with his 30-piece orchestra or whatever it was, sort of uh, quite a lot of last year. Um, he was touring around the highways and byways of the UK. He came and he played keyboards on, um, you know, which is no mean feat, because he was in Squeeze and, you know, he's like a kind of national treasure in Britain or whatever. So he played keyboards on Daylight and um, just as a favour, really, to us. Yeah, and he gives you good horse tips. Yes, good racing horse tips. Yeah. Gigi tips. 
Pipes. You're at the It's Not Dead Festival. What bands are you interested in seeing uh, here this afternoon? Well, we were interested in seeing the Interrupters, but I think maybe we might have missed them. You may actually, have just missed them. But um, from what I can see, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're great. I mean, people like the Buzzcocks and that. I mean, we see them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they turn out to festivals and they're there, but it's yeah. always nice to see them in a different setting and GBH as well yeah. in a different setting. So, What's next for The Selector? Um, well, we go back to England, don't we? And we go out on tour with our friends, um, Ranking Roger of The Beat, um, a co-headline, and I think we're doing about 18 dates with them through September and October. Then we go to Europe with them as well, and we do dates around Europe and um, Germany and Holland and Belgium. Then we're flying to Colombia, and then we come home, then we do some more dates with them. And then in the new year, I think we're going to... Uh, um, New Zealand yeah, and Australia. Australia. Wow. And in the meantime, we've got a, uh, the new album to promote as well. Yeah. Yeah.